Hello everyone and welcome to this build. In this video we're going to be building the Amazon website clone. The technologies we're going to be using in this build are Next.js. We will also be using GraphCMS to handle all of our products. We can then choose to add or remove products within our store. We will be using GraphQL to fetch all of our products from the GraphCMS library and then from there we will render our products onto the page. We will also have authentication in this build so if we click on the sign in button here we get redirected to the login page and then in here we can either sign in or create an Amazon account and then this will add a user onto our Firebase authentication. If I go back into the home page we can see a list of our products on here. We also have the cart or basket functionality so if I was to add a few products onto our checkout and if we go into our checkout as you can see the number increments so we have four items in the basket so click through to here we have our items in the basket and they are tallying up the total amount we can also reduce and remove the basket so remove item from basket and it decrements the value as you can see here and if we also remove here like so one final thing in this build is we will have the individual product pages so when we click through to here we get redirected to a product page with the id as showing in the url on this page we will do an, another graphql query to fetch the individual product data based on the id in the url so in this case we are fetching the snap pack data if we check another product so this long sleeve tee as you can see we have the description we can also add it to the basket over here and we also have the reviews for that particular product showing in a separate review card the final thing we'll be using is redux toolkit to manage the cart state so when we click add to basket what will happen is we will send all of the information for the product into our basket component we can then fetch that data from the provider and then render that data out in our checkout component so if we inspect and go into react redux like so as you can see here there's a list of actions being called add to cart remove to cart so if i was to go into my cart and click remove cart from basket you can see here something is happening and then the state is updating also so we will be covering react redux and react redux toolkit along with graphql in this build okay so let's get started with the build 